guys welcome back to a great day today we're going to be installing a radiator on the c5 corvette i picked one up the other day from amazon and it's basically just a straight replacement for the factory one nothing crazy and while i'm at it i went ahead and ordered some of these led laser lights for the back fender uh but first my brother-in-law just stopped by with this brand new little project truck here it's a 1970 C10 he just picked up and he's having some issues with the windows not going up uh, Apparently he thinks it might be the Switches, uh, it's got like the aftermarket power window switches in here. So I'm trying to figure it out for him oh my God, one. I Got this man Put that in the bed Okay. I mean like I said, I'm gonna change it so I'm not picky how even it is right? Okay So that took a little longer than I expected. One thing led to another. Went from windows not working to exhaust leak to the dirt truck is dirty to you name it. Wanting me to pull out the light lane so he can take pictures along next to his truck. Anyways, two hours later, we were finally back on track. Um, we were first going to do, we were, like I said, well, first thing we're going to accomplish, and that is removing the radiator that's leaking out of the C5. I was going to take this car out to a... Uh, autocross event a couple weeks couple months ago and noticed that it was leaking out of the radiator here so i'm gonna go ahead and replace it it is a factory one this car does have 105,000 miles i think while i'm at it i'm also going to replace the water pump since i'm already draining the coolant i'm not going to fill it up with radiator coolant i'm going to be filling it up with water and adding a additive that basically lowers the temperature or the boiling point of the water i don't have to worry about coolant draining because that's like the worst thing about any of this is draining the coolant and figuring out what to do with it. So this should be the last time we have to worry about that. What I've done so far is just remove the intake pipe and then I've already removed the fans from the radiator. Basically just lifting the fans up and out of the way, out of the slots. Same thing with the condenser. It's got some, it just slides into some slots into the radiator. With the condenser and the cooling fans slide into Lots here on the radiator, right there, and uh, condenser on the front, right there, on the top, and on the bottom as well. Under the car. So these basically grab onto the radiator hose clamp, and you squeeze them down. Pipe. Now we can just pull this off. Alright, so we got the two top holes of this kind of I was actually just able to disconnect the top, the bottom hose with the hose clamp pliers that I showed you guys earlier. Went ahead and disconnected the top, and we just need to pull out the radiator. Somewhat attached at the bottom. There we go. Put this out of here. issues with the radiator uh, as far as the new one goes I didn't receive the fittings that block off uh, this one has the trans cooler fittings here and apparently it did, I didn't check it was my fault I didn't check it came just with the ones for the trans cooler lines but it didn't come with the block off uh, nuts that was supposed to so I had to pick up some of these at the hardware store or at the local auto parts store and the closest thing they had to what that I could use for now and I'm basically gonna put some of these vacuum fittings on the end with some zip ties to kind of hold it from leaking. Uh, should be fine, just like that. Picked up a new uh, GM water pump from Amazon. So we're gonna slap that on as well. While I'm there, might as well replace the water pump. Uh, I think I need to replace the tension as well. I think it's a noise, so 
Eventually I'll get one of those. For right now, I wanna get the button, at least the cooling systems buttoned up. All right, this has to be one of the trickiest water pumps to install. Not mess up. I got the car bled, system is full, and I did the procedure as far as how GM wants you to do it. I'll post the directions on how to bleed the air out of the system here on the C5s. If you wanna pause the video, take a snapshot of the information here, you can do so. But yeah, as that, all there is now to do is to go take this out for a spin and make sure everything is good to go. and the big brakes coming up soon so stay tuned for that uh so if you found this video helpful please like please subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one